down the phrase she plays. Soul Train was a hit parade. Rose like us, we had it made. Those were the days. And you knew who you were then. There were no black Republicans. <laughs> Mister, we could use a man like Mark. Guys I knew were straight. Why he was the thing to hate. <laughs> the Eldorado ran gray. Those were the days. This week, in Living Color, asks the question: What if Archie Bunker were black? <laughs> hey, eat it. Get out of here, will you? Oh, Archie, you're home. <laughs> How was your day? You'd suck. <laughs> Must have dissed me all day there. He's lucky I didn't whack him. Oh. Edith, where's my eight ball? I don't see a malt liquor in your hand there. Uh, don't you remember, Archie? They burned down the liquor stores during the riots. Well, you stifle yourself. That was a civil unrest, and don't you forget. <laughs> What's for dinner? Oh, your favorite, Archie. Macaroni and the government cheese. Cheese, eat it. You know what the government cheese does to me. I spend more time in the throne than Queen Latifah there. <laughs> Say, where's Glory and the ham hog head? Oh, they're all volunteering at the Rainbow Coalition. Oh, jeez, the Rainbow Coalition. <laughs> What's Jackson doing cavorting with them blue-eyed devils? Why can't he be more like your Lewis Ferry King? Oh, that's far a car, Archie. Whatever. <laughs> By the way, Edith, what up with the hair? Oh, it's my new braids, Archie. How do you like it? Oh, jeez. I'm married to the African Dean Bad over here. <laughs> oh, you're upset, Archie. Why don't you sit down? I will, Edith, it. Just as soon as you answer me one question. Anything, Archie? Where the hell is my chair? <laughs> They repossessed it today. Repossessed by who? Who else? The white man. Those honky bastards. Those mayonnaise monkeys. Those Volvo jockeys. Don't be prejudiced, Archie. They're people just like us. In fact, two white people just moved in next door. Oh, jeez. There goes the hood. <laughs> I'm Crazy Tom, down here at Crazy Tom's Appliances. You in the market for a stereo VCR big screen TV? Well, what you waiting on? Come on down here and make yourself a deal before my medication wears off. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm on medication. Take a look at this here. A Hitachi 45-inch big screen TV complete with remote control and Dolby speakers. Now, what do you think something like this go for? $5,000? Nope. $1,000? Uh-uh. Try a uh, $1.50. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. How can we do it? I just told I'm crazy. So come on down and meet some of my crazy salespeople. Tell them what we got, Lenny. We have these beautiful JVC amplifiers on sale today. Meat pie. So you might want to come down because I can give you one heck of a rabbit deal. So be sure to ask for me, Lenny. Hope to see you. Cock a doody. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, we even take trade ins. We'll take anything. Hey, will you take this bottle? Sure. Grab yourself a VCR. <laughs> he, made, he made himself a good deal. Now, let me introduce you to our lovely cashier. Go ahead. Tell me how many stereos we've sold this week. 642, definitely 642. Oh, three o'clock, Judge Wapner's on Doug Llewellyn, Doug Llewellyn, Doug Llewellyn. <laughs> right, thank you, Rain Woman. Hey, man, you got no money? Pay me later. We've been serving the community since 19... Last Friday. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you know, people always come up to me. They say, Crazy Tom. I say, What? They say, How can you sell all that high quality merchandise at such a low, low price and still make a profit? I don't! <laughs> I'm crazy! <laughs> crazy Tom's going out of my mind sale. Open seven days a week, midnight to 6 a.m. Crazy Tom's We're Slashing Prices. Hello. I'm Isabel Sanford. And for 12 seasons, I played Louise on the Jeffersons. Like most entertainers, my performance depends a lot on my voice. You're probably asking yourself right now, how did she get such a smooth, sexy sound out of that throat? Well, the secret is these. 
Wheezies. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your voice sound its absolute best. How do they do it? By using only the finest of natural ingredients. Retin, broken glass, carpet tax, pit gravel, and a hint of cherry. Wink, wink. <coughs> oh, <coughs> what's the matter, Bob? Throat trouble? Yeah, it's been bothering me for three days. Yeah. Try a wheezy. <coughs> Wheezies take a little getting used to at first. Kind of like Mr. Bentley's face. What was up with that? How do you feel now, Bob? <coughs> like my throat is bleeding. <coughs> but I sound terrific. Of course you do. You've got the wheezies. Can I have one of those too, lady? Oh, aren't you cute? But aren't you a little young for a wheezy? Please. Oh, what the hell? There you go. <laughs> Wheezies are for the whole family. Now, repeat after me. George. George. <laughs> now, Florence. Florence. <laughs> now, one time together. Tom, Helen, Tom, Helen, Lionel, Lionel, Ralph, Ralph. The Queezies, now available in cherry, tar, and new sandpaper. Coming soon to a theater near you, Thelma and Louise Jefferson. Oh, boy, this is bright. I never thought I could get away. Daryl's gonna be so upset. So is George. But you know what? Forget it. I've been trying to break loose from him for over 20 years. 13 of which have been in syndication. Hey, why we stopped at a dry cleaners? I thought you brought everything with you. Well, there's one thing I forgot. All right, freeze. I want everybody to empty their pockets and put all the money in this bag. Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> Who are you? I'm your son, Lino. Lino? Well, which Lino are you? The funny one who was on the show from the beginning? Or the second one that nobody really liked? What difference does it make? Just don't go doing this to yourself. I swear if you come any closer, Lino, you'll be speaking to Mother Jefferson in person. Okay, okay, calm down. Why are you doing this? Because I haven't worked since Reagan was in office. I figured this way, at least I can get on cops or America's Most Wanted. <laughs> Oh, come on. You know you want it. No, I don't. Now get off me. No, I don't think I will. Not till I show you the Tower of London. <laughs> Mr. Bentley, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Mrs. Jefferson. You look ravishing today. Don't let him sweet talk you, Louise. He tried to attack me. Mr. Bentley, is this true? Of course not, Mrs. J. Do I look like the sort of chap who could do such a thing? He's lying, Louise. Don't listen to him. Mr. Bentley, do you believe in the Almighty? Of course, Mrs. J. Well, you're about to meet him. <laughs> oh, my God, Louise. We're in trouble. Well, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Don't miss those hot-headed outlaws, Velma and Louise Jefferson. They're moving on up to a theater near you. You're never going to guess what happened today. You didn't get pulled over by the cops. No, I didn't get pulled over by the cops, you dingbat. <laughs> we were eating lunch today, and this trucker comes by, you see. So we pull him out of his cab. We beat the hell out of that honky. That's terrible, Archie. No, eat it. That's good. Because the trucker turned out to be Stretch Cunningham. <laughs> He'll be out for six weeks, and I'm taking over his job. Daddy, how can you celebrate something like that? Like this. Now, where the hell's dinner, Edith? Oh, we're waiting for Gloria's new boyfriend, Michael. Oh, yeah, Daddy. And I want you to...
to be really cool with him. Don't worry, little girl. If he makes you happy, he makes me happy. <laughs> now open the door for the ham hawk head. Daddy! <laughs> Hi, Michael. Hello, everyone. My, what an interesting weave. Who hooked you up? I grew it myself, and they're called dreadlocks. Dreadlocks, schmetlocks. That's a dried up jerry curl, dear. <laughs> Looks like your activator went on strike, dear. <laughs> Mr. Bunker, you don't understand. I'm Jamaican. Jamaicans, Haitians, Dominican. What the hell's the difference? You need a fade. Daddy! Case closed. Let's grow. Well, everybody sit down. Archie, I hope you like it. It's your favorite. Collard greens. Where the hell did you pick these, Enid? They smell terrible. You've been down to the railroad tracks again? <laughs> they smell like somebody's armpits. <laughs> no, Mr. Bunk, I'm afraid that is me. I am all natural. <laughs> What's all natural? Ma, that means he doesn't believe in using deodorants. Oh. oh. <laughs> you think being surrounded by all that water, they'd at least touch it every once in a while. <laughs> But what would you expect? Jamaicans rank pretty low. I'm sorry, Gloria. I love you, but I won't sit here and be insulted. <gasps> Daddy! Mom! Archie, do something. Apologize. Gee. Okay, uh, Michael dear. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry if I offended you and your, uh, what do you call, uh, Ristafarians, dear. Rastafarian. <laughs> Whatever. Mr. Bunker, your thinking stinks, you know. For your information, we're all the same. No, no, wait a second, buddy. That's where you're wrong. Because at the top of your list is your classic American brother there. We were here first. We invented the penis and your, what do you call, uh, your show train there. <laughs> Second on your list are your Africans who traded us for a bottle of rum, the sellouts. And on the bottom of the list there, you got your island brothers. Your basic, what do you call, cab driver slash shortstop. <laughs> He's very close to nature. Unlike yourself. Me, I only put natural things in my body from the earth, like ganja. Oh, jeez. What's ganja? It's the chronic bud. Whoa. Now get my nine eat it. We got a crackhead over here. <laughs> crackhead? If you don't mind me saying, Mr. Bunker, it's attitudes like yours that continue to allow our people to be oppressed by the oppressor. And let me tell you something, Mr. Henry, better funny there. <laughs> that is it. I am leaving. Daddy, do something. Uh, he's a man I love, and I'm going to have his baby. What? You hit that? <laughs> you hit that? Oh, jeez. Now, Archie, check yourself. Remember your high blood pressure. <laughs> That's a good idea, Edith. I think I'm gonna give myself a stroke right now. I'm giving myself a stroke, Edith. I'm giving myself a stroke, Edith. I'm giving myself a stroke, I'm giving myself a stroke here, Edith. <laughs> Peachy King, Edith. I got my lovely wife here, my beautiful little girl. And a son-in-law named Bob Morley, dear. <laughs> this Week in Living Color asks the question, what if Bob Hope were black? This is Bob Depp Comedy Jam Hope here. And I'm one angry brother, I want to tell you. Hey, I'm getting kind of tired of white people thinking I'm going to steal something just because I'm black. Hey, what up with that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I was in the store the other day. This sales lady was following me so close. Finally, I turned around and said, Hey, look, bitch, why don't you hop on and give you a piggyback ride? Yeah. Yeah, but... Hey, how about these white girls, ain't they some? They, they really go for his brothers, don't they? That's because brothers know how to do the nasty. <laughs> yeah. You know what the nasty is, don't you? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's the wild thing with an attitude. <laughs> See, brothers like to take our time with the ladies, don't we? Yeah, man, I'm telling you, it's wild. We can stay <laughs> Hanukkah. Hey, peace, I'm out of here. <laughs> And now a few minutes with Randy Rooney. Did you ever notice how many myths there are about black people? Why should white people say we all look alike? I get Gary Coleman and Shaquille O'Neal confused all the time. And why do they always tell me some of their best friends are black? Yet you never seem to see them with their best friends. <laughs> When a black man's beeper goes off, he's a wanted felon. <laughs> but when a white guy's beeper goes off, he's a wanted in surgery. <laughs> and why is it that every government report that comes out about black people makes our future seem so bleak? We've got high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, high sodium. The only thing that's low is our pay. <laughs> Did you ever notice that the police seem to always pull you over when you're hanging with the homeboys? Their idea of a warning is a taser blast. And those taser darts hurt. Ouch! These are one of those flesh-colored band-aids. Whose flesh are they talking about? <laughs> Certainly not ours. And when the police pull you over, why do you always seem to fit the description of a suspect? <laughs> kind of makes you think it's a conspiracy, doesn't it? You ever wonder why white women always clutch their purses when a brother walks by? They think we're all criminals. Jeffrey Dahmer was white, but I don't think every white person I see wants to eat me. <laughs> and you know what really bugs me? Why is it a soul train? I guess if it were so Buick, the cops would pull it over because Don Cornelius fit the description of a suspect they're looking for. And that was a few moments of dissing with Randy Rooney. Bet work sucks. I'm sorry, Archie. Maybe this will brighten your day. Peep this. I got us two front row tickets to the Funkadelics concert. Word up. How'd you manage to get these, Edith? I traded in your nine. Oh, gee, Edith, not the nine. I'm sorry, Archie. The next time somebody busts into the crib, I'll bust the cap in his ass with George Clinton tickets. That's just great. It's just great. Now leave me alone. I'm going to bed. Oh, but Archie, I invited Mr. Munson and his new girlfriend over to play Spades. Oh, jeez, Edith, give me a break. I'm not in the mood for Munson and his roving cock eyes there. <laughs> they are kind of whack. Well, try not to stare at him this time, Edith. The last time he was here, you almost got yourself hypnotized. Oh, Archie, try and be nice. He really wants you to like his new girlfriend. I hear she's flawed. Don't worry, Edith. Munchin is my ace. I would never, never diss him. Hey, what up now, Archie? Oh, jeez, look at the sellout over here. Oh, uh, Archie, Edith, I would like you to meet my new main squeeze. This here is Snowflake. Hi, everyone. A snowflake. Yeah, it's my stage name. That's lovely. So you're in theater. Yes, I'm an exotic dancer. Oh. Oh. Snowflake, go and give Archie a taste. Ooh, tap me, hold on a second. Hey, tap me. Watching the ball, I've got Bimbo here, huh? Well, it's, it's very nice to meet you, Snowflake. And uh, a long time no see to you, Mr. Munson. How have you? Hey, Edith. Your wish is my command. Edith, Edith, how about getting us some snacks out here, huh? Yeah, okay, Archie. Oh, uh, so 
Joe Flick, why don't you go on and help eat it out, baby? Okay, baby. Oh, sugar, sugar now. <laughs> Jeez, I'm illin' over here. Munchin', are you bugging out or what, bringing her in here like this? Hey, now, hold up, Archie. Because you know I don't play that. See, if you can't get along with me and my woman friend, we will raise up right now. Stop like me, yeah. Chill yourself out, <laughs> Jeez, just chill yourself out. I got nothing against her. Except she's white. I can kick it with anybody there. Okay, everybody, time for courts. Uh, you know what? Uh... Uh, Archie, why don't you partner up with Snowflake and then me and Edith the double team? Oh, no, hold on a second there. I ain't teaming up with the white broad there. Oh, <laughs> chill out, Archie. I'll be Snowflake's partner. <laughs> okay, Edith. I won't let you down. I just love spades. <laughs> we kind of figured that when you walked in with Munch in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, Snowflake, you want a deal, girl? Yeah. Go ahead. It's so cute. It's one for you. It's one for you. It's one for you. It's two for oh, you. Baby. It's me. Yeah. It's two for you. It's two for you. It's two for me. It's three. Is she gonna feel like that all night, Dad? Did you hurry it up there, Snow White? It's the flake. Whatever. Jeez, Munchie, you think with all the white girls to choose from, you could at least pick one that finished the first grade there? Hey, 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 hold up. Now, you about to work my last good nerve. Why are you yelling at me, baby? I'm not talking to you. But you're looking at me. Now, see what you did? I hope you happy. Now my woman's all upset. But I didn't say nothing. He's talking to me. But he was looking at me. The brother is cockeyed, Edith. Who Hey, Munchin, wait a second. Munchin, Munchin. Hold on, Munchin. Hey, Munchin, Munchin. Was he talking to me? No, he was talking to me. He was looking at me. Will you check yourself there? <laughs> Great. Now I lost my gun and my best friend. I'm sorry, Archie, but look on the bright side. At least we're still going to see the Funkadelics. Well, whoop de doo whoop de doo whoop de doo <laughs> And now, a few minutes with Brandy Rooney. I've been doing a lot of thinking about stereotypes. Did you ever notice how many there are about black people? Take sports, for instance. When a black man knows a little something about basketball, they call him a natural. But when a white guy knows a little something about basketball, they call him the owner of the team. And how come white people are so anxious to have a heavyweight champ? You know, a great white hope. What do white people need hope for? <laughs> they already have everything. And why is it whenever something goes wrong, they call it black? When the stock market crashed, it was Black Monday. When you're kicked out of a place, you're blackballed. And the worst disease ever was called the Black Plague. And by the way, what would the white plague be? Tennis elbow? <laughs> notice when a white guy gets a good job he gets a good line of credit but when a black guy gets a good job he's a credit to his race try and buy a couch with that <laughs> you know it's not like there's not already enough credit cards out there today there's visa american express discover only thing i discovered is i can't get one <laughs> and what about mastercard i don't know i guess i'm just a little too sensitive about the word master when I go shopping, I, I just want to think about picking out a shirt, not picking cotton. <laughs> and did you ever notice that every store seems to have a white sale? I guess it's a good thing they don't have a black sale. Last one I heard of, Kunta Kinte, was marked 20% off. <laughs> That's the police going by. They sure are a helpful bunch. You know, their job is to protect and to serve. But what they don't tell you is that usually they're protecting their identity while they're serving you up an ass whooping. <laughs> they paint those cars black and white? I guess to match the passengers. Blacks in the back seat and whites in the front. <laughs> now that's not the rule, that's just another stereotype. Like the one about black men being so well endowed. Well, maybe that's not such a good example. 
<laughs> this has been a few minutes of dissing with Randy Rooney. I'm just finishing up some important business, Edith. <laughs> Say, Edith, do me a favor there, will you? The next time you make macaroni, chill out on the cheese, huh? You said it's been a 30 minutes of hard labor there. Hey, wait a second. Hold on a second, little girl. Can I ask you a question there? Sure, Daddy. What the hell are you wearing? It's an old Adidas school dress, Daddy. Don't you like it? It looks more like a ripped condom there. Now put on something respectable. I got Barney Hefner coming over here, and if you're gonna get with him, you gotta look fly. Daddy, I don't wanna get with him. You want me to get with him. By the way, what's so big about Barney anyway? Three things, little girl. One, he's got a good job. Number two, unlike a certain hammock kid you used to date, he's a citizen of the U.S. of A there. And number three, shut up and get changed. Ma! Oh, jeez, he's here. Bonnie, my age boom. Hey, Ozzy, what's up, man? How you doing? Edith, how you doing? Hey, Bonnie, uh, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Gloria, here. Get over here. <laughs> Gloria, this is Bonnie, the most eligible bachelor at the plant. Daddy! Uh, gee. Now, I don't mean to embarrass you, Bonnie, but uh, me and the guys down at the plant have been noticing you've been in a little slump with the hoochies lately. <laughs> and it just so happens that my little girl here has just got out of what do you call a malfunctional relationship there. This is ridiculous, Daddy. I will not be treated like a child. Jeez, of course not, little girl. Now, let's go out to the kitchen and get Bonnie an old English there. She's a real honey dip, eh, Bonnie? Well, well, Be right back. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, look, I, you know, I didn't get a chance to tell uh, Archie that I can't go out with Gloria. I'm already seeing somebody. Oh, that's too bad. What's her name? Uh, Stephen. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Here's your mouth. Look at her one, yeah? Here you oh, go. thanks, Ed. Gloria's out in the kitchen making some nachos. She's quite a girl, that Gloria there. You two will have a great time together, Bonnie. Archie, I just don't think that Bonnie wants to push up on Gloria. What's wrong with you, you dingbat? Gloria's dope. He'd have to be gay not to want to go out with her. Whoop, there it is. What the hell are you talking about, Edith? Who put such a crazy idea like that in your head? Edith. He was joking, you dingbat. Everybody knows Bonnie's got a crazy sense of humor. <laughs> like the time he showed up at the plant Christmas party, you know, dressed in. Yeah. <laughs> and high heels. <laughs> and pantyhose. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here's some nacho. You want another beer? Why don't you bring him a Harvey Wall, bring him with an umbrella there. <laughs> or better yet, just bring him Harvey. <laughs> Archie, chill. Bonnie's your homie. You mean homo. <laughs> and get your butt out of that chair. God only knows where it's been. Look, man, you are being ignorant, man. I'm not ignorant, buddy. You're the one who's ignorant. I know my Bible there, which says in the beginning, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Bonnie. <laughs> hey, man, you are talking crazy. You didn't have no problem with me yesterday. Yesterday, you wasn't a Fruit Loop. <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving, man. So soon, Bonnie. Archie, I'm ashamed of you. Me too, Daddy. You've been friends for too long to end this way. Oh, jeez, you too. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Bonnie, we've been through a lot together, and I, I guess you're okay. For a pansy. <laughs> Tomorrow's the plan, all right? So, uh, uh, oh, did I drop a quarter over there? What are you talking about, Bonnie? I don't see no quarter over here. Oh, baby got back. Get that out of my face! <laughs>